So the next formal element we're going to explore is form. And all we're going to do, just over the top of the template, we're going to add a little bit of pen. The easiest area to start off with is the outline itself. So we're trying our best to neatly just map that in. So the word form itself means a 3D shape, so it's a 3D object, three-dimensional. So now that I've mapped out those outlines, all I'm going to do, where it's lighter on these edges, the 3D edges of the shape, or the form, all I'm going to do is space my lines out and press really lightly with my pen. Where I, where I want it to go darker, like for example down this side where the light's not hitting because it's coming from this angle here, what I'm going to do next is put the lines closer together and layer them a lot more and that creates a darker tone. So for example on this side here you might want to do a gradient because at the top we can see that the light is hitting it lines spaced further apart and lay them up for a dark tone. Underneath the letter it's really dark so we're going to be layering it up quite a lot. I'm just neatening that edge up. As you are working around the shape of the form you are going to just neaten up some of those edges. Just like that. So layering the lines up for a dark tone. So we're just working through and we're, the, we're doing exactly the same on each letter. And just remember the remembering when you are doing the top of a letter that it should be lighter in tone. So those lines are spaced further apart on the top of the letter. So as I'm working along, just because I don't want my pen to smudge, I'm just putting a piece of paper under my hand. Which is a good rule of practice for any piece of artwork that you're doing. So when you're working around the edges, you might want to just layer the pen up 
just to neaten it up. It is quite tricky to get your control with pen. Where possible, it would be interesting to see a gradient going up the side from dark to light. Dark at the bottom where the light is not hitting the letter and a light at the top because the light is coming from above. So see if you can blend those tones. So one last time, the lines are spaced out ac across the top of the letter and that is because that's where the light is. Down the side of the letter we're going to go from dark to light because the light isn't hitting the bottom of the letter, it's hitting the top of the letter and we're just making sure that we've got a nice blend going up the side of the letter. That. So our end outcome is going to look something like this, which is nice and 3D.